Okay, this video is going to be on scams. What the... Uh, watch out for this year. Let's go through a couple. This is in my email. A lot of them will show up like this. It'll have all this... Remind, it'll say reminder... Blah, blah, whatever. And I have a whole bunch of gibberish. Gibberish. This actual Walmart one. That's why I saved it. If I click on this, it says it's from CBS. CBS Pharmacy. Reminder. Yeah, you... But if you see the gibberish, don't even click on it. I'll show you... That is not CBS. If you actually look up in the, the uh, email right here, you can see it's not. Uh, this has got gibberish on it. As you can see, if I go from that one, let's open the other one. And then we can go down here. Didn't mean to do that, but uh, trying to. They're all almost identical. If you see that, gibberish. Don't mess with. It. Here's a real Walmart. See how the layout is, and if you noticed on the uh, the font or the prints, they're rounded off. They're rounded here, never square. And Walmart, right here in their heading, is actually going to say Walmart. Here's another gibberish. This one, it doesn't even say where it's from. It's a wholesale, yeah. I don't think, another gibberish. I didn't even open this one up yet. A lot of them are just gibberish, but then you get down here. And this one says, this one says Northern... And then it says Amazon. It says your northern description has been expired. But it doesn't give you no date, no nothing. This came the end of last month. Open it up. Don't click on this. Don't touch any of this. You ever see this? Do not touch it. That's like a back door for them to get in your computer system. If you go up here, it's a hot, it's a e, usually a Gmail, Hotmail, sometimes a Yahoo. Could be, it's, but if it's a Northern or it's Amazon, they're always going to have their, uh, e, their email is going to have their name in it. Here's another gibberish. This one's Comcast. Comcast will never send you anything like this. And Comcast, their internet provider, gibberish. It's actually got a Gmail. Why would they need a Gmail when they have their own email? Target. It's a Gmail. This one says, uh, this might be real. Let me see. Huh? Lowe's Home and Prima. Let's see if this one's a real one. This one's a real one. If you notice up here in the in the email, it actually says Lowe's. Here's another Walmart. If you look at this one, the font in Walmart. Let's go down and let's go down to the other fake Walmart. None of them say Walmart in it. And remember, I just showed you. That they're not Walmart. Here's a Big Lots. Big Lots is a real one. It's got BigLots.com. Real email. 
a target. It's a Gmail. Do not touch anything in here. Shopping claim, Walgreens. You see all the fonts, the way it looks. It's a Gmail. Don't touch it. And here's account services. These are the ones that uh, get a lot of people that really don't know anything. It says account services. And a uh, recent update about your account. It does, account service, it doesn't sell you who, what account or nothing. And if you go in here, see it says, Dear user, you need to update and roll and blah, 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 whatever. See something like this? It's the, not the same font. Don't touch it. If you don't know anything about it, don't touch it. It's a, it doesn't, this one right here doesn't even say, It's a gibberish.com or something. If we take this, let's see if we can do this. Because, see, they want you to hit the update. Do not touch that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to get rid of this. This is another way to check if you're not for sure. Get rid of I'm keeping just the address. I'm clicking on it. I wanted to see if it come up anything. Now... Now, when I did that a while ago, it was coming up something. Let's get rid of this. And look, uh, when I got rid of that, then also uh, Comcast scan phone, phone number and saying about all these... Uh, Trying to see if it's anything else. It's saying all this stuff, but it's nothing about that uh, account services. So, your best thing to do when you get stuff like this, it doesn't even look like a Walmart. Walmart font. The Netflix is right, that's right. Uh... Let's see what the, uh, if this is real. The Netflix, that's definitely not really what you look so. So, when you get them, go down here. It depends on what you're using. It's different from every, all different stuff. Go down there and hit block right here. And it will send it to your trash. Reminder, we're going to go block. Walmart, reminder. Lot. And remember, if it's got if it's got gibberish over here, you don't even need to open it up. They're trying to get. I don't know if it's the uh, gift card scam or what it is. I don't know. I'm not touching it. All I know is it's a scam. You can look in the email itself and tell it is because it doesn't have an e email address to match with the sender, like the target. Remember I told you. It doesn't say target in the email. Block them. See, some of these doesn't even... I'm hitting it, and it's taking a second to even get rid of it. Some of them go uh, quickly. That one's a good one. You don't have to. You don't have to block that one.
There's another target. A you know, that one's a scam. Anything that you think is a scam and just go over to your junk mail, you don't even have to read it. Just every once in a while someone sent you something and you can't find it. It might be in your junk mail. You might want to look there. But if not, it's usually junk mail. That one's a good one. I think all the rest of them are real emails. So, let's get rid of them. Now, let's go into... I'm going to my personal Facebook. I'm going to show you something. We're going to skip through this real quick. Now we're going to show you scams on here. And they are scams. I would not lie to you. I've I've been trying to get a lot of them, a lot of them and uh as they pop up and get rid of them. I'm going to see if there's any on here. There usually is. Because I, if I see it, I'm going to show you what an actual scam is. Oh, right here might be one. Zero. It costs zero. It's $800. It's a 1985 E350 motorhome 20 foot RV motorhome. It's a scam. No pictures. No other pictures. It says price firm. Runs great. No issues. I'm going to message them just to prove it's a scam. I'm going to put, is it still available? We're going to leave that one cooked for a minute. Right there. Something went wrong, an error, while sending your message. Please uh, try to send it again. Don't send it again. It's a scam. And if you heard that back there, that was that was my phone in the back proving, I'm going to prove to you it's a scam. Might be this one right here. No. Let's see what this is. Yep, right here. This is right through for them. It says, hey, Adam, 1985, blah, 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 blah. Mm, still for sale. If you want more information, uh, they want you to contact an email address. If it was real, they would talk to you. If they were trying to sell it to someone, they would talk to you. They would say... It's a scam. Come over here. Click on this. Hit report. Listing. Go down to find your best description of what it is. Uh, trying to. Or a possible scam. And then they will check it out. We'll go on down and see if we can find another one. That's one today. I usually I usually can find 25 to 30 a day. At tax time. That's only at tax time. They know you're getting money. And they want your, some of your money. If it looks too good to be true. Usually is. This says, this, I don't even know what happened there. Let's see if we can get back down and find that.
it was a washer and dryer combo or together it's not even going to show up now so it might have been a scam but it was sixty dollars we're getting close But it's not going to show up again. And all I did is clicked on it. A lot of them are starting to get a uh, little, I guess, got something on it. Can tell who uh, sent it or whatever. And it, not, it pops you out automatically. Let's just go... Uh, trucks I'm gonna go I went in there just I uh, punched in trucks if you see a mint looking truck on here and they only want a thousand dollars or less for it usually a scam this one right here looks really really good it says it's in Chambersburg That one's probably real. I don't know the price on it because I really didn't look. Usually the ones just with one picture, maybe two or two, a little different, and it's cheap. It's a scam. They want to get your information or get money from you. Or they want, hey, I'll hold this. It ain't in, the, uh, Say I'm in Maryland. Hey, it ain't in Maryland. It's in Pennsylvania. It's going to be a day or two before it gets down there. That's what the email, when you email them. There was one on here last year that was a truck that Chevy did uh, an ad for, and they took the ad picture off. Well, it was an old Chevy truck, like 92, 90 something. And they had the Chevy's ad picture on there, but it was coming up in like five different states, the exact same ad. All right, let's put the maximum on $1,000 just to see what $1,000, see what it says or brings it up. Oh, right here. Baltimore, Maryland. It's a Chevy Silverado 1500 4x4 truck. Man, that's a nice looking truck. One pitcher. One owner. If you come over in the description, it don't tell you the mileage. It doesn't tell you if it's automatic. Anything. No descriptions. Let's find out. Is this a scam or is it not? I say it's a scam. If you don't say it's a scam, put a thumbs down right now. Let's find out. Is it still available? Sometimes it'll go through. That one went through. It's a scam. It popped up automatically. And they want to go to a Gmail. Go over here. If you do this, this is going to help everyone out. And it will help people from getting scammed. Let's go back over here. I uh, said report this ad. There it is. Scam on this one. There we go. This one. If it's got... Usually if, if it's one dollar, they want you to look at their ad. This one... I would say it's a real ad.
This one says $800. Real ad. Oh, here's one. A free Tacoma. Look at that bright, nice looking. It's in Washington, D.C. Does that look like Washington, D.C. to you guys? That looks like California. I live near Washington, D.C. Let's find out. I sent it. Is it still available? We'll cut this off in a minute. It says, hey Kelly, is this uh, still available? Well, sometimes it takes a while. Bam! Nope. Came back. It's a scam. They want you to send your information or contact someone through an email. I ain't saying you have to do this, but if you see something and you think it's a scam and you looked at it, here's one. It says it's a 95 Silverado 1500 long bed. That's a clean truck, uh, but this one's got the mileage. It's got everything on it. It's got a good description. It just has no has no uh, price, so that could be real. You, we're not going to test it because I know you can tell straight out which ones are the scams and which ones ain't. The scams will usually have only have one, maybe two pictures, but usually just one because they'll grab a internet picture somewhere. That looks really good. Here's another free one. Let's go down description. It says that 26,000 miles. Uh, taking a 94 Ranger. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Looks... This one right here, I wouldn't know. I'm not going to send it off. It could be real. They just want a high price. They don't want you to know about it. Here's another free one. That is... Does this one say Washington, D.C.? Because that's the last one. Said it. Nope. This one says Newport, Virginia. And... Just to show you something... To prove my point, well, let's do it this way. Let's go back in here. That's a two thousand three Toyota. I may have to tell you to come. I don't know. It might the other one might have already disappeared. That's a truck because they change the stuff around. That is the ad we're looking at. No, right here. Alright, here it is. Here's another one. This is the one we were just, where we were on. Remember I told you it looked like California? This one says it's in Baltimore, Maryland. This one says it's in Newport News, Virginia. It's the same uh Kelly Slink something. Then you go over here. Same person. 
but the truck is in two different places. They want fourteen hundred for this one. They want fourteen hundred for the other one, but one's in Baltimore and one somewhere else. I'm going to hit the little thing. We're going to see how long it takes to kick it over. Unless they're getting smart already. Nope, they kicked it over. Go up to the ad. Just, just watch your pocketbooks this year. There's a lot of people out here doing this. And there's a lot of people think they can get something for free. There's nothing for free -ish anymore in the United States. So I know you don't need to see the that picture. So, but anyway, uh, if you like this tutorial, actually we got new junk mail. Let's. I'm gonna go in here and see what it is. Don't even know what that one is. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You didn't thumbs down. Uh, at least you're watching. Please subscribe and bye till later. Thanks for watching.